All right, let's level up. You need more strength. I think we picked up a shield that, uh, let's put two points into that. One more into constitution. Let's see. Ugh, no lock picking, huh? Yeah, I'll probably just uh, do that one there. Oh, yeah, I think I want this because I want to, him to draw attention away from uh, from me. All right, so what quests do we pick up? I need to see how they relate to the main quest. Oop. Um, so we got the blight. Oh wait, no, these are all these are all under the blight. Let's see here. Oh, broken circle. So let's see here. Seek out Arl Eamon. Oh, these are all... Hmm. So the list I have here isn't the best, because I think these are all really part of the main quest line. Um, Lothering and the Imperial... Yeah, wherever I got this list, it doesn't actually properly name these things, so... Um... So I got... I have to go to all three of these places. All four. So it's just a matter of what order I want to do things in. Well... What's her gal said, uh, to head to Lothering in the north. So can we just start traveling there, maybe? Although we haven't explored any of this area yet. So... Hey, Spider Dan, thanks for jumping in the chat and saying hi. Oops, I didn't mean to actually be controlling Alistair there. Alright, yeah, we'll just take a look around before we head out. Hi, Flameth. Is there anything left for us to do here? Let me save. Have you not left yet? I hope you are not hanging about for some stew. Could you answer some questions? Questions, questions. One would think a Grey Warden would be more interested in action. Ah. <sighs> Can I ask about your magic? Looking for new spells. Secrets you think old Flemeth has cooked up over the years. Well, they're of no use to you without years of practicing my ways. I am not like your circle with its books, you see. Not that I would mind a handsome lad to order around for a year or so. <laughs> if I were you, I'd take the dark spawn. Hmm. I have no more questions. Then we are done. Now, if you will excuse me, I have some dinner to eat. Oh. Oh, this is a small little area, so we're just about to head out to the world map now. All right, well, loathering it is. Oh, that's right, you can have these little combat encounters on the way while you travel. Oh, but I guess this combat encounter is... 
I don't know what's going on. And I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar, and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this Darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Anora's regent and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most fortuitous. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you! The Bannon will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you or anyone. Bantigan, please! Your Majesty, your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here... Bantigan, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, Your Majesty? That's my dog, right? No end to these blasted things. Look at those ducks all in a row. I don't have my my rock armor on. Where's uh where's that spell? Don't I have a second page of uh how do I access the uh yes. no that's not how I do it. Spells Oh sustain spells and talents, there we go. Those darkspawn didn't hurt you, boy, did they? I think he was out there looking for you. He's chosen you. Mabari are like that. They call it imprinting. Does this mean we're going to have this mangy beast following us about now? Wonderful. He's not mangy. He can come, but he'd better make himself useful. And yet we still have Alistair along. Oh, dang! <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, at first I was like, oh no, I haven't thought about this. I, I give a lot of thought to naming characters, but <laughs> I think Elderass would just call him Dog. <laughs> I can't remember what I named him in my uh, in my <laughs> in my other playthroughs, but Dog is perfect. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Come along, dog. <laughs> I'm so glad I had this encounter, because after I'd selected the town, I was like, Oh, crap, but I was supposed to go back to follow up with that dog. This, so this is the follow-up. That's great. Wake up, gentlemen. More travelers to attend to. I'd guess that fellow is the leader. Uh, they don't look much like them others. You know, uh, maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers. Highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the darkspawn, I suppose. They are fools to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. Now, is that any way to greet someone? A simple ten silvers and you're free to move on. You should listen to your friend. We're not refugees. What did I tell you? No wagons, and this one looks armed. The toll applies to everyone, Henrik. That's why it's a toll, and not, say, a refugee tax. Oh, right. Even if you're no refugee, you still got to pay. Forget it. I'm not paying. Well, I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Right. We get to ransack your corpse, then. Those are the rules. Do you really want to fight a mage? A mage? Ah, oh, I don't want to be a toad. Nobody's turning you into a toad, you sniveling bastard. You know, I hear a mage falls as quickly as anyone when stabbed. Let's finish this, gents. I see enemies ahead. All right, let's see here. Oops, didn't Please mean to on. do that. That's the one thing I don't like about um, leading a party-based RPG as a mage is you often are, like, right in the front of battle if one starts because of dialogue. Well, I've got my armor on at least, so that's good. Um... Well, I guess I can get these. I want to get these three. I'll get them. Sure. Ah, that didn't work out like I'd hoped. Alright, let's get just a little bit of space here. All right, Alistair. Ready. Oh, jeez, and my dude too is not doing so hot. All right, day. we surrender. We're, we're just trying to get by before the dog spawn get us all. You picked the wrong target. Yes, yes, of, of course. We should have been more careful. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> hmm. Well... My instinct was to go with number one, but I think we could go the tactic of trying to amass power. You'll follow my lead. I could use some soldiers. 
What are you joking, right? I could never be a soldier. <laughs> um, Alistair's not going to like this. I don't even know what Morgan's going to think of this, but... Or you can die. Your choice. I'm not going down without a fight. There we go. Oh, man, I'm low on uh, lyrium, big time. Okay, so... Is it time to kill something? Um... Oh crap, I still need lyrium. Let's see. Um Got it. Um Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Alright. Well, I don't see either of my teammates complaining, so... I think we're good. <laughs> okay, so they're trying to make me feel bad about killing this guy, I guess. <laughs> well, I'll take the locket. What have we got here? <laughs> did I... Was this... Did he get this from Sir Henrik, or was this Sir Henrik? Um, let's see if I can figure that out. Hmm, I, he must have picked this up from Sir Henrik. Hmm. Okay. Alright, so this is like a side thing that I can do at some point later. Um... All right. Well, there it is. Lothering. Pretty as a painting. Ah, so you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. <laughs> right, very creepy. Forget I asked. <laughs> Just get to the point. Anyway, I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. We should try and use these treaties, I assume. I agree. Have you looked at them? No, not yet. There are three main groups that we have treaties for. The Dalish Elves, the Dwarves of Orzammar, and the Circle of Magi. I also still think that Arleman is our best bet for help. We might even want to go to him first. What do you think we should do, Morrigan? Go after your enemy directly. Find this man Loghain and kill him. The rest of this business with the treaties can then be done in safety. Yes, he certainly wouldn't see that coming, and it's not like he has the advantage of an army and experience and... I was asked for my opinion and I gave it. If your wish is to come up with reasons why something cannot be done, we will stand here until the Darkspawn are upon us. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right. I'm ready to get going. Fair enough. Let's head into the village whenever you're ready. So then, of the quests that I have... Oops, let's see. Which one of them is... Oh, oh good, I got a quest marker for that Fallen Templar thing. Um... Which one of them is about taking on... I mean, I'm wondering if Mer if Morgan's suggestion is actually uh, an option, is like a like a quest. Hmm. It doesn't look like it is. Once he learns about Logain's betrayal. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's really an option for that, so... Um... Well... I guess I could just do this first. Rest and resupply. <clears throat> Morgan did, I believe, mention that, like, the tavern would be a place where you could get more information, so I'll make this my active quest for now. All right. So let's talk about your mother from a moment. I'd rather... The talk about your mother. Well, there's nothing to talk about. And besides, isn't your mother a scary witch who lives in the middle of a forest? Much more interesting. To you, perhaps. You would find the moss growing upon a stone interesting. You know what's more interesting than that? Apostates. Mages outside of the tower. That's illegal, you know. You did not read that in a book somewhere, did you? I hope the small letters did not strain you over much. Oh, we could not talk about your mother. That works for me. <laughs> All right. Oh, I feel like this guy's going to want to talk to me. You there. If you're looking for safe shelter, I'll warn you, there's none to be found. Move on if you can. Lothering's lost. I was looking for some news, actually. You might find that, though it's probably just frightened gossip. We've had refugees streaming from the south for the last two days. The Chantry and Tavern are full to bursting. There simply isn't enough food to go around, and we Templars can barely keep order. You'd be better off elsewhere, my friend. Out of my way! I'll not turn you away. We just ask that you don't bring more problems here. People are frightened. Alright, my instinct right now is to go around and talk to people, see if I can collect some quests, but um, during the stream I'm gonna tr really going to try and beeline it. <laughs> Back off. I have the right to charge what I wish. You profit from their misfortune. I should have the Templars give away everything in your carts. You wouldn't dare. Any of you step too close to my goods and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. It warms the heart. Oh, you there. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? Get rid of the tiny part, and I'll consider it. <laughs> I'm not the only one with some business sense. He is charging outlandish prices for things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets. Tis only survival of the fittest. All of these Cretans would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. 
I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to talk business? Look, stranger, I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. Can you beat that offer, sister? You want me to bid against him? We don't have that kind of coin. <laughs> what do I get if I help you? We have nothing to offer but our gratitude. Well then it's time for you to go, isn't it? You would actually do the bidding of this evil little man! Absolutely. Off you go. Fine. May your heartlessness <laughs> bring you exactly what you deserve. I didn't like the phrasing of that. If I've ever heard one. You're so nice. I bet you make allies everywhere you go. Ha! <laughs> Serves that wench right. You have my thanks. And 100 silvers, yes? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, playing as Elder Ass doesn't mean that I'm just, like, psychotically always choosing the most evil choice in the moment. Um, so I don't think I'm going to kill him. But, yeah, I'll leverage some power over him, over him if I can. And a discount! Right. Fair enough. But only you. Let's see what you have, then. This way. And beware the urchins. They have grabby little hands. All right, let's see here. Um, you know what? Let's hold off for one second here. All right, that approval and disapproval is pretty predictable. Um, now I leveled up Alistair so that he could make use of that shield that I picked up. So let's make that happen. Um, I guess shields are in the weapon category. Yeah, that is an improvement. So let's pick that up. Great. Um... Probably nothing else that's going to really be better than that. I don't think I've picked up any better armor. I haven't really checked on Morgan's equipment. So I should do that here. Alright. What do you got going on, lady? Magic staff. I don't think I have anything better than that. Oh, wait. What's this? Oh. Oh, yeah, her weapon's a tier three. <clears throat> yeah, no, I'll, I'll stick with that. Is it identical? So hers, it's got the same name, but it is a little bit different. <clears throat> okay. Um... I'll give that a go. Uh, yeah, we'll give that a go. Uh... Sure. Oh! Can I make helmets not appear? I really do not want her to walk around with that on. I don't even like wearing one myself. Um, I gotta open up the options menu. Uh, let's see here. 
Oh, she's that's what she's wearing right now. Let's see. <clears throat> no, I think she'll just keep wearing the amulet she's got. Okay. All right, I've got to see if there's an option to turn off helmets. There might not be, dang it. Hmm. Ugh, I don't think there is. Okay. Well... <clears throat> I guess she can wear that for now. These hats look dorky. <laughs> There's just no getting around it. Oh, friend. Care to take advantage of your discount? This way. And beware the urchins. They have grabby little hands. Alright, let's see. Dang. Am I even close to that? No, not even close. Um, yeah, I don't think in the weapons department they have... Well, let's see here. Alistair has got... Hmm, yeah, no, he's definitely got something better there. Yeah, okay, no, so... Hmm, probably nothing in the armor department. I mean, that's a little bit better. I don't know if it's worth that much gold, though. That's so much for what I'm getting there. Yeah, no, I think we're good. Well, how am I doing on health potions? Ooh, injury kits. Those are useful. I need... To probably buy both of those. Um, and I don't think he has quite what I need to make potions, like health potions. I can sell some stuff. That, that's not for... Okay, no, I think we're good. So, let's see. Yeah, I don't think these are components. I think I just sell these. So, yeah, let me sell these and then see what my gold is that I have to work with. Yeah. All right, oh, that does significantly change what I have to work with here. I'll keep the runes for now. And I feel like that blank vellum might be useful at some point. Um, no junk right now. All right, I know that inventory management is not super riveting in a stream, so I'll try not to spend too much time here. But I think I do want to buy these two health potions and maybe maybe these lyrium potions too oof i kind of hesitate i kind of hesitate let's wait let's wait okay um Santas are still operating their board how oh, that dedication now well, i better just pick these up for now at least these are just random side quests. I'll do those on my own time. Um, we got angry farmers. I better save here. I feel like there's going to be a dialogue opportunity. The legions of evil are on your doorstep. They will feast upon our hearts. There is nowhere to run. This evil will cover the world like a plague of locusts! Please, you're scaring the children! 
better to slit their throats now than let them suffer oh. the dark spawn hands. There, one of their minions is already amongst us. This man bears their evil stench. Can you not see the vile blackness that fills him? I think he sees the stuff coming off of me. <laughs> <clears throat> Watch where you throw accusations, fool! Please stop! Somebody shut his mouth! But isn't he right? The ban left us. We're going to die. This minion is but the first of those who will destroy us! That's enough! This ends now. No! Do not touch me! You bring evil and destruction! It is the end! He was right, wasn't he? There's no hope for us. Well, no hope for you. I have quite a bit. <laughs> oh, look at that! <laughs> I even get that option. Uh... That's right. No hope for any of you fools. Please, tell us what to do. <laughs> oh my gosh. Give me your valuables and your sorry lives may be spared. You could spare us. It, it, it's, it's worth a try. Forty-five silver? Ugh. Well, Alistair, Morgan, no complaints there? Alright. It's a bit weird. Um... They don't give me a value on these things. I like that when RPGs do that. I wish they would do that here. Well, I'll just take it for now. I guess there is a... Oh, yeah, didn't I have, like, weapons and stuff that I could have sold to this guy? Ugh, okay, I'll... Yeah, you know, my inventory's gonna fill up if I don't. Sorry, guys. Hello, friend. Care to take advantage of your discount? This way. Alright, um... So, let's see... Um, kind of want to hang onto those in case I pick up an archer. <clears throat> uh, better hang onto that in case I get a rogue soon. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff I can sell here. Hmm, I'll keep those. Yeah. I hate to get rid of some of these things, because if I can get a rogue, and if I can get them to be good at making poisons and stuff, I'm going to want that. And these don't count against my inventory, so I think that's all fine. Okay. Yeah. Now my inventory is at 32 out of 70. A much better place to be. Ooh, I've got some great cash now for maybe looking at that... This dude had a good... Um, a good staff here. Let me compare that to what I got. Um, oh. Oh, but it's got these other things going for it. Let's see here. Plus one spell power and plus five percent spirit damage is what I'm working with already. That fire damage... Yeah, the spell... I have spell power of two. It's hard to know what's going to be most valuable. 
you know, ultimately, I think I'll stick with my mind because it's at least it's a tier two. So in the absence of a better understanding of what some of the effects of these things have, I'll just stick with that. Um, I don't think there's anything else I need to get right now. I could pick up those Lyrium potions I was on the fence about. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. All right, great. Yeah, Spider Dan, that guy that was ranting and raving, um, definitely a downer. And that's why he needed to die. Um, didn't give me the opportunity, though. Okay, do I need to talk to you? I'm not sure if I need to even be going here right now for my, like... Chanter's board, Chanter's board, Chanter's board. Lothering in the Imperial Highway. I feel like that's where I need to head eventually. Is this a place I can go into? Oh, okay. I can go into the Chantry. There's word of darkspawn stragglers, but no sign of the main horde. We are the only hope of protection this village Who? has, and I will not abandon I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Sir Donald? Is that you? Alistair? By the Maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Not yet. No thanks to turn Loghain. If Arl Eamon were well, he'd set Loghain straight soon enough. If he were well? What, what, what do you mean? The Arl is stricken with an illness that threatens his life. We have found no cure, either natural or magical. When did this happen? Only a few weeks ago, but he has declined quickly. No one knows the nature of the illness, and even magic has done little to slow its progress. Our only hope now is a miracle. Every knight of Redcliffe has gone in search of the urn of sacred ashes. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness. But I fear we are chasing a fable. With each day, my hope dims. Hmm. I was hoping to meet our Eamon, in fact. Why is that, if I may ask? We need his help against Terran Loghain. I see. The Arl is a popular man, it's true. Terran Loghain, however, is a hero throughout Ferelden. Whatever the Terran has done or not done, the Arl remains ill, or worse. That is my primary concern. Is there any point in going to Redcliffe? He may be dead already. Or perhaps his luck has changed in the weeks I have been gone. We should see what's happening in Redcliffe ourselves. I believe that now more than ever. If nothing else, I am certain you would be welcomed at Castle Redcliffe. The Arlesser is there, and she could tell you more than I could. Well, I should go. Good luck to you. And to you, Alistair. I hope to one day see you again. And you. Sir Donald. That is all. May the Maker have mercy on us. Okay. So, let's see. I think... I might make uh, Arl Eamon my focus right now. Um... Here we go. I mean, that seems kind of like the, the best of both worlds. You know, uh, Alistair was saying I should go there. Morgan saying, well, you should just go take out Loghain right now. Yeah, there's, I don't have a quest option to take out Loghain right now, so... Uh, but they both seem to have kind of a focus on the Arl of Redcliffe, so... I'll, I'll go ahead and make that my focus. And see what we need to do to, to head in that direction. Head northwest, okay. And then sometime off stream I'll come and What do you need? Oops, not to talk to you. Never mind. Oh. It was it was sparkly, but there's no extra quests. I'm cold. I don't like this. Alright, I'll come back and talk to all you villagers 
on my own time later. Alistair, if you will indulge me. Do I have a choice? How dare you accuse me of thievery? I saw you take the supplies from my car. Your grassland eyes are inept. A chase end would never stoop to petty theft. You marsh folk are all thieves and liars! Enough! People here are already desperate and frightened. They don't need you two coming to blows. But what about my food? I said enough! Okay, was that just flavor? I don't feel like there was necessarily a, uh, a quest or something to do there. Okay. Oh, that dude. I'll come save you later. That's a recruitable dude. Um, and he'll actually be very useful to have once uh, Alistair leaves. Here's some baddies. Help us! <laughs> Can I change the difficulty here? Uh, there we go. <laughs> um, Alright, I'm kind of wondering if... Uh, let's see. I don't really want to play as this guy. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Next. Direct me. All right, what can you do, Morgan? Um... Oh. I guess never mind. Can we back out of that? Pretty right. timely arrival there, my friend. I'm much obliged. Just, uh, how obliged, exactly? You want a reward, eh? I suppose that's an entirely reasonable request. How does a hundred silver sound? I was going to use that to fix up the cart, but uh, quite frankly, I'll be grateful enough that my son and I come out of this with our heads. And yet, you have a whole cart full of goods. Which are unsold, I'm afraid. A hundred silver, and my thanks, is all I have to offer. The name's Bodon Fedek, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sandal. Say hello, my boy. Hello. Road's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. It's a bit complicated, but, uh, you're welcome to come along. Complicated? <laughs> Somehow I imagine that only says a half of it. Thank you for the offer. But there may be more excitement on your path. Then it's good for my boy and me. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we? All right. Uh, let's do that. Huh. Yeah, I figured once I started, like, skipping some stuff, there's probably... Because there was a bit of a spike there in the intensity of that fight, even though I fought similar numbers before, so I'm wondering if I'm supposed to have done some quests and missions in town before heading out, but um, I can always do that on my own time. Um, let's see here. If I can... How do I use that? 
Um, he's got the injury, right? How do I use it? Can I not use it? Do I have to... Maybe I have to do it from the... Um, from this menu here. Be under potions. It would. Okay. Awaiting orders. Okay, so he's good. He needs one of those. Um. Wait, does he still have a? Oh, that's not an injury. He's got. Uh... Or is it? I can't tell. Maybe it went away after a while. Okay, I think we're good for now. dreams, huh? Why are you bothering me? I'm fine. It's just that you were shouting in your sleep, loud, and not in a good, this is private way either. You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde, and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. Are these dreams going to happen a lot? It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me too. You could have told me earlier. I know, I've just been so distracted with the, you know, massacre of all my friends and the war and all that. Sorry. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. All right, I want to talk to these guys while they're here. Ah, it's good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fennec, at your service, once again. I saw your camp and remember the kind offer that you made the last time we met. And is there anywhere safer for a poor merchant and his son to sleep? I think not. I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? What are you selling exactly? Anything, everything. But all of the finest quality. No cheap trinkets here. And my boy Sandal happens to be a bit of a hand with enchantments. Oh, yes. Sadly, it also makes us a target for bandits and the like. If there were spare hands to hire as guards, I would have done so long ago. Let me see your wares, Bodain. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. And with your discount. All right, so this guy appears in your camp, I think, every time you camp. And he's great. <laughs> and his son is great. <laughs> um, let's see here. Good gravy. All right, that's something to look forward to, maybe. Yeah. Nice. Got to save up for that, though. And I don't have near what I need to buy that now. Um... Yeah, lots of great stuff. But I'm going to hold off for now. Um... Oh, Alistair disapproved. Minus eight. Okay. Yeah, he's going to be going soon. <laughs> Let me see what his status is right now. Okay, so he's not so far gone that I need to fear him leaving yet. 
Well, let's do a quick save. And then we'll head out. Oh man, choosing my party here, okay. Yes. Indeed. Okay. Oh. Accept. Did I do something wrong? I'm trying to leave. Oh, there we... Wait. Accept. How do I actually leave? Is there more I gotta do with these guys? I'm confused. Hello. The boy's a bit simple, but... He's rather good with enchantments. One of those tranquil fellas actually called him a... What was it now? A savant. I had no idea such a thing existed. What enchantments does he do? He can fold lyrium into almost any weapon or piece of armor. Though naturally some of the more extravagant materials will take more lyrium than others. It's a process that some of the master smiths back in Orzammar will perform. But my boy here is just as adept at it. Isn't that right, boy? Enchantment! And there you have it. Farewell! Okay, maybe I just need to select the world map or something. I think this is Morgan's camp, where she usually hangs out. I guess she's not here right now. Oh, but she's in my party, that's why. Okay. That is really weird. Okay. Okay, I think I just need to try and maybe, uh... Use the Ferelden map. Okay, so there's Denerim, Lothering. We were trying to go to Redcliffe, right? There we go, Redcliffe Village. So I guess we're going to travel there. Look, can we talk for a moment? I need to tell you something. I, um, should probably have told you earlier. Let me guess. You're an idiot. Yes, that's right. I stopped you to tell you that I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> the maker you know already. Now I can stop worrying, I'll be found out. It wasn't exactly a secret. Oh, ho, ho. I'm trying to be serious here. Just listen. Well, uh, let's see. How do I tell you this? We're almost at Redcliffe. Did I say how I know Arl Eamon exactly? Why? Are you his son? No, no, I'm not his son. I'm a bastard. My mother was a serving girl at Redcliffe Castle, and she died when I was born. Arl Eamon took me in and raised me before I was sent to the Chantry. The reason he did that was because... well... Because my father was King Marrick, which made Kaelin my half brother, I suppose. Doesn't that make you heir to the throne? Maker's breath, I hope not. I don't think so. You don't think so, do you? I'm a bastard. And, and nobody even knows about me. I, I would have told you, but it never really meant anything to me. I was inconvenient, a possible threat to Kaelin's rule, and so they kept me secret. I'd never talked about it to anyone. Everyone who knew either resented me for it or they coddled me. Even Duncan kept me out of the fighting because of it. I didn't want you to know as long as possible. I'm sorry. You still should have told me we could leverage this. You're right, I should have. It's brought me nothing but problems, to be honest. 
Al Eamon eventually married a young woman from Orlais, despite all the problems it caused with the king so soon after the war. He loved her a great deal. Anyway, the new Arlesa resented the rumors which pegged me as the Arl's bastard. They weren't true, but of course they existed. The Arl didn't care, but she did. So off I was packed to the nearest monastery at age 10. Just as well. The Arlesa made sure the castle wasn't a home to me by that point. She despised me. Well, that sounds like a bunch of whining. <laughs> I suppose you're right. I wasn't raised as the Arl's son, though. If you're picturing that, I slept in hay out in the stables, not on silk sheets. I remember I had an amulet with Andraste's holy symbol on it. The only thing I had of my mother's. I was so furious at being sent away, I tore it off and threw it at the wall, and it shattered. Stupid, stupid thing to do. The Isle came by the monastery a few times to see how I was, but I was stubborn. I hated it there and blamed him for everything. And eventually, he just stopped coming. But you... Ah, oh, an heir to, th to the throne, right? Let's hope not. I'm the son of a commoner and a Grey Warden to boot. It was made very clear to me early on that there was no room for me raising any rebellions or such nonsense. And that's fine by me. No, if there's an heir to be found, it's Al Eamon himself. He's not of royal blood, but he is Kaelin's uncle, and more importantly, very popular with the people. Though, if he's really as sick as we've heard, no, I, I, I don't want to think about that. I really don't. So there you have it. Now can we move on? And I'll just pretend you still think I'm some nobody who was too lucky to die with the rest of the Grey Wardens. Aren't you? <laughs> See? I knew you could do it. It's easy, isn't it? Okay. Oh man, Alistair, minus six again. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, Peter Franson here. Want to play games to save lives? Then join me again this year for Game Save, our annual charity fundraising event in support of St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, whose compassionate care and cutting edge research has been saving the lives of children all over the world for decades. Joining the Game Save team only requires a willingness to ask friends and family to consider donating toward your fundraising efforts. Team members also usually do something fun and game related to draw attention to their fundraising raising like a special game night at your church or home or like me you can do a crazy 24-hour video game marathon now i'm theming my fundraising around video games but you can also use tabletop games if you want what you do to raise funds is entirely up to you but by joining the game save team you can get support and encouragement from myself from other team members and have more attention drawn to your fundraising efforts you can get more info about the origins and heart behind game save itself at gamesave.christiangeekcentral.com to join the team, make an account at Tiltify.com and then click on the team invite link below this video and join the Christian Geek Central team. After that, click on teams, then the CGC Game Save 24 campaign box, then on the bottom right, click create your campaign. Follow the instructions to create your own personal campaign in support of the CGC team campaign. To help your donors avoid confusion, I recommend using your name and the phrase CGC Game Save 24 as the name of your individual campaign. After that, as team leader beginning in October, I provide team members with weekly tips and resources to help make your fundraising as fun, easy, and effective as possible. October is going to be our main push for fundraising, capping things off with my annual 24-hour video gaming live stream on November 9th. Although you are welcome to have your events and continue fundraising until the end of November 30th, when our official final total will be tallied. If you have any questions before or after, signing up you can reach me anytime at p-a-e-t-e-r at spiritblade.com i'm happy to help and i hope you'll consider being a part of this with me i can't wait to get started thanks bye